Well, here we are. Hey, P. Hey, M. Patricia. Mariah. And together we are PMR PMR Studio. Studio. Now. Look at that tape. This is tape. (laughs) If you want to know more about this tape, there's a link below. Mighty fine tape. It is. This is. And it's black. It is. It's the black binding tape. And and it is just, I love this stuff. It's, It's quite wonderful. I think I bought that. You probably did. After I painted the white tape black. This is before PM started making money. <laughs> <laughs> it was self-funded. <laughs> I bought that black because I was tired of trying to paint the white stuff black. Oh, yeah. the, true that. Oh, man. All right. Go so, did it. you see that nifty little t- technique there? Although, I still did kind of mess up on my measure. I was going to say. <laughs> Weird. Just, like, I wasn't going to say. It. So, here's how, how you remedy that. And it actually works out better, especially for this particular build. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I went all along there, but okay, here's yeah. how you do this. You then tear that piece in half. There you go. <laughs> now you have the two you halves. You have the two halves. Yeah, exactly. And you just line them up there so that they stick to each other and not to whatever it is that's on the other side. That is exactly right. Um, so now, the reason that I chose these particular little pieces of black chipboard is that they had already been cut. They were off cuts. And I was like, I'm I, going... I recognize that one. That was a, a, a misfire on a, a journal that, or a, a book, lookbook. Yeah, which it's not that wonky. So I'm not really sure exactly why. No, the problem was it was the wrong size. Remember, uh, we changed the size of the, yes, that the makes pages. Sense. I was wondering why I just kind of had one wonky little thing that had been readied for a, a Well, cover. you, you know, jumped the gun there and started cutting out. I want I'm covers gonna... before I had decided on the interior mm. part. Well, that's her story. She'll stick to it. Um, remembering now that there was something like, "Hey, did you think about?" <laughs> and then there was a, "Oh yeah, uh... that's fine. We'll just change up the cover because you've already made a I lot was of gonna, progress." I was going to say it's a whole. That's one piece of paper See, look, as opposed to a rego with that. <laughs> A little, little bit of <laughs> so you, lollygagging about there. Well, it got off a little bit. Well, Which, it's black. It, yeah, it's, it's black on black. Is you know a little no, bit. That's a killer. It's, it's tricky, but um, you do want it to. You, you want to have nice fold. What is it like fold margin? I don't know. There's probably a name for it. Come on, book people, help me out. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. You mean the, the bend? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know. The, mm-hmm. where, where it's gonna yeah a- actually fold fold yeah y- you want it to be even it doesn't have to be spot on i'd gotten a little extra wonky yeah now we're speeding up i just kind of wanted to show that and talk through hey you know if, if you mess up it's okay and then i liked my method of because uh, i knew that the, well you should the, use some of that tape that doesn't stick i don't want to use that on my well, I know, but just to just so oh, to that hold you can, it in place. Yeah. yeah, that's not a terrible idea. And then I, I did stack, like I, I wanted them to kind of go from the smallest a little bit to the bigger ones, and then you know the biggest one at the that was going to be the back cover. So that way, when they stacked upward, it had a nice yeah kind of topographical. This is, this is yeah, I, I understand the silhouette. Mm-hmm. Um. But I think that this was very brave of you to make the decision to make all of these structural decisions early on. Well, because this is kind of like a large cover. Um, you know, if anything, I'm brave and bold. <laughs> Sounds good. Stick with that, Brian. Right. Yeah. No, it was really about okay. I, I got to use these pieces because I'm tired of moving them around. And see, this is this is why I don't really have to worry too much about having my color be exact. Yeah. Because she's going to do this stuff to it anyway. A lot of these are the Lindy sprays. I will put links down below for these. Um, I don't have... Here's the key to Lindy's sprays. Buy them in the sets. Because individually they are a little bit pricey. That was the first fail of the photo transfer. But I almost like the technique of the paint on top of the photo, photo. better. <laughs> and let me tell you, 
You guys can be successful like 100% of the time. <laughs> yes, you can. It's guaranteed. Paint as will long, stick. As long as you have transparent. transparent. <laughs> You're using <laughs> opaque. Yeah, that's not going to come off. We can't well. help you. No, yeah. You just have to stick with a crappy. Your, your faux transfer will not work. <laughs> nope. 100%. <laughs> so, transparent is key. Now, I am absolutely in love with this little industrial, I think it's called, like, it, it's the Lindy's Industrial Set. Well, this is the latest one that you, you yes. purchased. Yes. And that, that steely steel color, whatever, is fantastic. It looks brown to me. I, well, it's it's like a steel. Oh my gosh, you just snapped I did. that I, right in two, didn't you? I did. Not even hesitating. Woo! That was some... Well, I just still wasn't sure on size. Scale is important. Oh, it is. Yeah, it also is important that the photograph fit on the piece of paper that you have. True that. Designated. Exactly. Or said cover or whatever. And then I, I was kind of worried AI was a little big. You know, like. Oh, yeah, because I well, I don't know why that was. Well, I just still wasn't sure which panel it was going to go on. I didn't know if this was going to be kind of like cover. And then, remember, it started out because I was just going to be the one because this was my book. But then I was like, it's really PM Artist Studio, so you need to be in it. So then we had another photo session where I took P's picture that was similar. So that'll be coming up. And, and then I needed to be sized down. So, you know, run number one. But the thing I did figure out is I really liked um, more of the blue paint. Oh, that's because I was going to say. And the gold was just a... Yeah. It's or is that right? Or did we go with gold? I don't think you went with gold. No. But we didn't go with the blue blue. We'll see that here in a second. But that's when I started figuring that out. Because that's why I had you do both colors. Look at that fantastic gluing. Like a bird. I, I'll bro. tell you what. I, I, yeah, I'm totally impressed with that. I suck at that. And then, see, I covered up the one side. Because I knew that I was going to be dangling something. Probably the beads. That was a thought that I had from the very get-go. Was about the beads. Right. I wanted those, and I wanted them to look like rain, and that had to be the cover because structurally and just, you know, trying to hold the beads inside of the book was going to be painful. Yeah, I see how you're holding that up there, too. And, and then, see, I didn't even have, a, like, a full amount there, but I didn't let that totally throw me off. I was a little irked about it, but... This is where kind of collaging or, to me, it's almost like, it's not really collaging because I piece stuff in. Because it's necessary. Right. And I suppose that's like collaging. Now see here, this is the picture you finally yes. ended up using. And see, but I, okay, that's where the gold stuff came in. So we did the blue transparent, or you did. Yeah. Tried the photo transfer one more time. Still just wasn't happening. We probably could have had it happen with Prussian blue, but I didn't want that. Well, that wasn't going to work with what, your paper because right. it would have been the same thing. Yeah. So I'm like, I just, I like this effect of the paint over the picture. I'll then doing a little bit of touch up stuff with the sprays, particularly the Lindy's. And then fussy cutting versus doing the tear. I wanted it to be, be sharp, sharp edge. I guess it just, this was one time, because normally I love a torn, a deckled edge. And you did see that awesome tearing there in the beginning. Did mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, call that out in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought it was kind of fun moving us around and <laughs> playing with ah. them on sticks. Ah. <laughs> I did think about putting us on sticks. Because there is a little pocket in this. So, this is when I was like, okay, again, I want to use every single bit of this, but here's the thing. When you're dealing with a pattern, um, that gets a little extra tricky. You know, that's like, you know, when you... when you Wallpaper. Wallpaper, or, you know, couch fabric that has a design on it that you oh, have to match yeah. it up. Yeah. Be problematic all the way around. True that. <clears throat> so, um, and a lot of times with this 
kind of deckled edge, I would probably do kind of spray business, but I don't think I did that with this one. I kept the edges pretty clean. Um, and this is where I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna make this different, then I'm gonna make it a pocket. So that's what it is. This is the one little pocket on there. Because I thought if we did float around, I could keep us in the pocket. There you go. I was leaving myself options. And also working with kind of what, what I had. And ever so slightly fixing little tears. Because I rubbed it a little too hard. <laughs> Warning, don't rub it too hard. <laughs> those are those awesome scissors that Lisa got us. Well, those are your pair. Mine, mine are down here in the office. Keeping mine away from you. I use mine all the time. I know. I'm loving them. They're sharp and they're pointed. And they get into little mm -hmm. crevices. That's what I used on this, on my stencil that I redesigned. The edges of the stencil. See, look how that yeah, kind of worked out. And I, I'm going to have to piece another little piece in there. But keeping those lines flowing from one panel to the next is important. Because... You know, especially with an accordion, I always view it not only as individual panels, pages, but then as a whole, when it is opened up, see, I put us in there for a little bit, stay in there. Uh, but as a whole, what is it going to look like? Uh, no, I, I said, especially on your accordion, I think that that's true of any book, but more so because you do view the whole thing as yeah. one giant. And also one of the reasons I love doing accordions because a photographing them I find interesting. There there's a really certain cool dynamic there that's sculptural. not sculptural. Yes. And this one was extra sculptural in a way because of the different levels and the different panels. And I I love that a lot. That this is this is what makes me happy about things. And always trying to, you know, on the one accordion that I, I cut the holes in, the accordion to me one, mm -hmm. that was also very sculptural. Well, I, yes, I think that was definitely because of the negative space that you created with the holes, mm -hmm. made it r actually much more of a sculpture than a book. This one actually has writing. True. I didn't show the writing. There's a few things. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why you don't see any gel printing here, it's because guess what? You can pretty much see P, Patricia over here, gel print three days out of the week. That's called Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday at 3 p.m. And, and then Sunday, Sunday at 10 a.m. All central. Yeah. And so I, I think some of these prints were actually pulled during live streams. I think that they were too. Oh, I meant to cut that little topping business out of there. Well, there you go. I'm multitasking. Absolutely. <laughs> like a champ. Like a champ. <laughs> okay, now this, this is such cool, again, just those well, this is the iridescent, the U.S. Art Supply. Because mm -hmm. I asked Pete, I was like... It's, it's pearly. She's like, what? white on white? What do you... I said, no, I'm going to spray the tissue. I got ideas. Just, you know, give me my raindrops, please. <laughs> By the way, these are available in our shop. <laughs> in multiple sizes. Not those particular ones, but the stencil. Yeah, the stencil, that is, yes. No, I could do those for you for a price. Oh, yeah, let us know. Peel. Yeah, we'll stencil get, some we'll tissue paper. Some pearly drops. <laughs> some pearly drops. <laughs> but look at that, Lizzie. It's coming together, coming together. I just thought, how cool was it that those prints, I'm pretty sure those were pulled during a live stream. Or at least parts of them. <laughs> or they were bright. They, uh, started, yeah, off they, bray start, they started off as <laughs> bray bray offs. They at least had one stencil put on them during the live but they got more yeah that's just how everything goes around here and then again just sort of collaging it together but it's really i think here's more is, is more crazy patchwork yeah i, I patchwork i don't 
Well, I so, <laughs> saw you whoop that exacto knife down there. That was a pretty brave move. Well, I remember this is sped up. It wasn't nearly wow. that quick. But... <laughs> just, wow. Yeah, that That's some slicing and dicing. It will cut. <laughs> yeah, like butter. And I, I don't know what stencil or how that eye type pattern appeared on that one but I, it was like okay this needs to be the cover it just had that whole well it's that one stencil but remember it it, it prints weird because it sucks up and has the mm -hmm. the middle part either looks very dark or it's very light mm. it almost gives it dimension yeah and if you're wondering what glue that is it's actually it's the mont mart but it has some barely mixed in. Quite like the mix. Oh. And some people do ask, like, oh, how do you know I collage or this or that and I get wrinkles? The key is just as you saw there with the little spreader thingy. And if you get after it real quick and you use a glue that doesn't dry, like the art glitter glue isn't necessarily great especially for large areas no. because you don't have time it dries before you've got to the other to, side or to spread it or you know get it really locked into place so you need a glue that a nice pva that's going you to need some wiggle room yeah exactly wiggle it's room. like retarder in your glue yeah. <laughs> i was typing again <laughs> I think I might have been watching one of the live streams. Probably Sharon. I think it was, yeah. maybe was when we were. Yeah, just gigging along and then had to, you know, say some things. Now, this is where I had to, because you don't get a lot of wiggle room with the tissue paper. It just sucks right down. And, and it kind of is better, what it is. You better be happy with where you yes, put it. Yes, because there was, you see, like, I was like, ooh. I mean, it sucked it right down. I still, there's a little bit of a wrinkly thing there, but I think it did kind of work itself out. And then I thought, well, oh, I chopped that one off right, right away. But then I was thinking even possibly, I, I do a little torn edgy business on this other one. Thinking about folding it over, but then I was like, yeah, that's kind of, it just didn't, oh, it's just see, funny. yeah, it didn't yeah. quite look right. So I was like, yeah, it's... Well, it's good that you tried it. I because... did, Yeah. You don't want to say, gee, I wish I had. Yeah. You, you looked at it and you just said, nay, nay. Yeah. But it did exactly what I wanted it to, which was it darkened up because the black chipboard in the background. But it didn't go so, like, didn't get lost. Well, it really made the drops pop. Yeah, the drops popped. You want some poppy drops. Yeah, it looks like wallpaper. Mm -hmm. I like it. I would like a bathroom like that. Uh, maybe one wall. I don't know that I could do oh, the whole bathroom. an bath. accent wall? But yeah, that, I couldn't look at that. That'd make me a little you bit nauseous. You had some stuff hanging on in your fingers. I had to uh, clean you up. Well, it's probably I've been gel playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did, actually. I went for on. a walkabout. Oh, there. That was a really... I, I was like, oh, I need to remember to tell people that. Like, with the tissue paper, it rubbed really nice. And that way, my hands didn't really get caught on the on the picture with the paint. Oh, because it kind of, so yeah. Slicky. Yeah, and I, you know, I think I've seen Carrie Gibson do that. I was like, oh, she's telling you that lady knows some things. Now, let me tell you, I, I sped through this bead business quite a bit because it, it was time consuming and repetitive and... Yeah. Boy. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> yeah. It's just akin to watching paint dry. Pretty much. I mean, you get it. I tied on some beads. Yeah. Here's the deal. I didn't want them to line up. They needed to kind of have a, a flow about them. I think I ended up doing five. I know it's not an even number. I'm pretty sure about that, right? Yeah, well, you should have you should have put the sound on here because they make a really nice sound, a little clacking sound. Oh, they do. Boy, look at that stuff shine there. It's almost like it's neon. I know it's it did that in the box. Yeah, did that in the box too. So that was the you know the bead business. Was, I, I frayed it out, then I cleaned it up because it was too much fray. Then I hand 
you guys have seen me sort of do these things before, if you've seen me make um, any of the books, I, I, I love gluing down some thread. I don't want to sew it. I'm going to glue it. Amazing. I'm a thread gluer. Well, you aren't going to be sewing that, that board no. there. Anyway, unless you're going to be poking major holes in it with it. But I think this is one of the reasons that I absolutely love watching a lot of the slow stitchers. You know, Carol over at the Magical Studios, uh, Susan Taylor Brown. I mean, I love the work that they do. No, I do too. I, I just have don't want to do it. I don't have the time. I can't see the thread and needle. Well, that's true. That kind of puts it hiatus to all I, of I my... Need, I need my vision to happen much sooner. So that means glue. <laughs> glue no so. Yeah. Not even slow. No. Yeah. Well, we need to get that sewing machine down. I, I'm I'm kind of hankering to do a little sewing. No, not I'm much, just... but you know. I'll clean off your table. Well, I guess we won't be doing that. <laughs> not anytime soon. Well, I mean, look at that glowing little raindrop up there right underneath your hand. I know. I could have sped through this even more, huh? Yeah, seriously. I don't know how much this person needs to see. Well, I was very... I, I spent a lot of time doing this. A really good <laughs> photograph, of, you know, says a thousand words. It all says it suffices for a thousand minutes. <laughs> Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. Nice. Comments. Would you really like watching me, you know, <laughs> slow well, glue? We, we, slow glue. <laughs> wiggle string around I'm here like I, i'm done all right this was brilliant it was a brilliant accident is really what it was i, I sort of had a vision about doing this dippy cut kind of you know the dip down drop cut but they lined up so well i just you know it was one of those things it was meant to be and then it covered up and see i had tied little knots in there because let me tell you this stuff will come undone Oh, that's horrible string. Thread. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's the, the metallic embroidery. I it absolutely is, love it, but it, it does evil. not hold a knot. Ever. Never. No, 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 no knots. Mm -hmm. No knots. Not a knot. Ever. <laughs> I did put five beads on. And then I wanted to make sure that some of the other little finishing touches I did, because here we're coming to the end, is that, and, the, and I do this on pretty much everything, and it's a lot like when, um, when you guys do like the inking around the edges. I came back and inked all of those edges with um, Posca marker. I even had a little blip out. Then I put on, I did write, it was so funny, because Carrie Gibson, she thought that that was your handwriting. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. That's actually mine. So, there we go. I, I saved the blopping from the top. Oh, that's a nice one. It has a nice little shimmer ah. shine through there. Is that reflecting off of those paint, yeah. those electrified raindrops? And then I did, I used the rest of the little scrap pieces to make that little foldy weird tag thing. <laughs> and all my beautiful slow gluing. That's what I'm going to call it. Slow gluing. Slow gluing. <laughs> Might be a new trend. Thank you guys for watching this. Please just click the like button. Leave us a comment. We love those. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thank you. For Bye. Watching. Bye.